Imagine a world where computers double in power every two years. A world where technology evolves so fast that today's cutting-edge innovation becomes tomorrow's antique. For decades, this wasn't just imagination. It was reality, thanks to a principle called Moore's Law. But now, that era is coming to an end. The question is, what's next? Let's rewind to 1965. Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel, observed something extraordinary. He noticed that the number of transistors on a microchip was doubling every year, while the cost was halving. Later, he revised this to every two years. This observation became known as Moore's Law, and it became the driving force behind the tech revolution. For decades, Moore's Law held true. Computers got faster, smaller, and cheaper. Your smartphone today is millions of times more powerful than the computers that sent humans to the moon. But now, we're hitting a wall. The problem is physics. Transistors are now so small that they're just a few atoms wide. We're reaching the limits of how tiny we can make them. And as they shrink, issues like heat, power consumption, and quantum interference are becoming impossible to ignore. Chip manufacturers like Intel and TSMC are struggling to keep up. The cost of developing smaller transistors is skyrocketing, and the returns are diminishing. Simply put, Moore's law is dying. First up, quantum computing. Unlike traditional computers that use bits, zeros and ones, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states at once. This allows them to solve complex problems in seconds that would take classical computers thousands of years. Then there's AI and machine learning. Instead of relying solely on faster hardware, we're now developing smarter algorithms that can do more with less. AI is already transforming industries, from healthcare to finance, and it's only getting better. Another breakthrough is 3D chip stacking. Instead of making transistors smaller, we're stacking them vertically. This allows us to pack more power into the same space. Companies like Intel and AMD are already using this technology in their latest processors. And let's not forget advanced materials. Scientists are experimenting with materials like graphene and carbon nanotubes, which could replace silicon and take computing to the next level. Finally, there's neuromorphic computing and brain-computer interfaces. These technologies mimic the human brain, allowing for faster and more efficient processing. Imagine a computer that thinks like a human. Sounds like science fiction, but it's closer than you think. So, is Moore's Law dying? Yes. But is the future of technology dying? Absolutely not. In fact, we're standing on the brink of a new technological renaissance the end of Moore's Law isn't the end of progress. It's the beginning of a new chapter. What do you think will shape the future of technology? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Electro Tales for more stories about the fascinating world of tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.